Hello, odd people. In this video, I'm going to go uh, through a brief discussion on NEO stock. I know we haven't talked about NEO for a while, so this would be a recap of what's going on, whether we still believe that NEO is the star uh, or not. And so I'm going to uh, touch base with the uh, insurance registrations, with envelope production, that kind of thing, to see where we stand on it. But first of all, I want to thank you so much for all the nice comments on the previous video. It is nice to see. And I hope some people uh, learn the lesson from it. Really be careful what's going on. I'm still in the middle of things with that, but just, uh, just hopefully somebody learned something from it. Uh, second is I haven't had the time to do proper research on, uh, you know, data and things like this for Neo. I just um, have general information of what's going on. And maybe sometimes uh, I probably miss some key information. So please do your own due diligence. Okay. All right. Um, do we still believe that NEO is the star? Yes. NEO has a beautiful model that is unmatched in the EV industry. In my opinion, the only, and I said this many times in the past, the only two investable companies in the EV market, at least the ones listed in the, in the US, uh, are NEO and Tesla, period. So that's a big word. I mean, that's not easy to say. It's not easy to say uh, for someone like me, given the fact that you have Rivian and Lucid and Zeker and Xpeng and Lee Auto, you've got a lot of companies. And in my opinion, it doesn't matter. All of them, not investable. Because of the presence of NEO. See, the presence of NEO makes it difficult to justify investing in the other ones, especially given the valuation. That's why, in my opinion. <laughs> okay. Uh, remember, Back in uh, early September, or it's been over a month and a half or something like that. Uh, I made a video on Rivian. I uh, made it to the members and made it to you guys that I warned you of Rivian. And uh, at the time, Rivian was like $16. Well, you can take a look at it, see what it is. I, and same thing, I said, you know, I wasn't too keen on Lucid either. But I see lot of hype or or excitement around Xpeng and uh, maybe Li Auto. People like numbers for some reason. They really don't, in my opinion, they're missing out on the the uh, the investment uh, idea of the model. You know, you know, Xpeng comes comes up with a new you know uh, vehicle and and it, and it sells, especially in the in the beginning and then all of a sudden in the beginning of production and all of a sudden everything goes bazook you know like everyone likes that and um, in my opinion you should really uh, keep an eye on the model and x-bank doesn't have a a great model to justify market cap of same as neo last time i checked a few days ago it was what 10.6 uh, billion for x-bank and 11 billion for neo does that make sense? No. That's actually absurd to see. NEO should be minimum five times the valuation of X Bank. Minimum. But of course, you know, I'm I'm that kind of guy who would, you know, you may not agree with that, that's fine. But in any case, the uh, so what's going on? Why, if we believe so much in NEO, why the insurance numbers are low? I think it is because of transition. Neo is going through a transition from being a startup baby to a mini superpower. What does that mean? It means that Neo, you know how when you look at, at Toyota, you find premium like Lexus. Lexus would be the premium brand of Toyota. And, uh, and then you have Toyota. You have these two, two tier. Well, NEO is going through that. NEO will have a premium brand, which is called NEO, NEO model, and the Envo. That would be the mid, you know, uh, uh, you know, price brand. 
So that's a sub-brand. And it will go through a third tier, which is the Firefly, in December. So new is actually building an empire. And so does that justify the insurance numbers being low? Well, I think what NIO is doing is that it is keeping the uh, NIO um, model expensive, the NIO brand expensive. It wants to maintain a premium brand. You cannot maintain a premium brand by lowering the price. In the past, NIO used to drop prices or offer incentives on, on NIO uh, to uh, keep certain production moving forward. That's when it, what that, that was uh, happening because of so many things such as uh, the battery swap data, such as maintaining production and maintaining growth and whatever. That is not necessary anymore given the presence of Envo. Envo will do that. And so NEO would maintain a premium brand in the, in the NEO, uh, uh, in the NEO model uh, and the good thing about that is it will, it will uh, maintain a good margin. I think NIO is looking for great margin for, for, the, for, for NIO, for the NIO, for the premium brand. That would be the good thing. The bad thing is that you would not have these big, nice uh, deliveries that we used to see in, in the past. These big deliveries will be replaced by Envo. That's where this change in the or the transition in the in, uh, in neo is, go, is is going through so the second thing is that well if that's the case what's going on with anvo why anvo is not picking up because of bottlenecks anvo is having problems in production various bottlenecks not just one various ones okay um you know if you if you uh if you go to work on a highway and uh, you always uh, get to work in half an hour and one day let's say you 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 go through a you know five lane highway and one day the you have four of the lanes are closed because of construction or something right and you only have one lane open guess what happens you would have that's a bottleneck that's what bottleneck is your time increased from half an hour to maybe hour and a half to two hours and you would be upset and some you might change your 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 way uh your, you know it, bottleneck bottleneck is nasty and bottlenecks even worse because you have a lot of them more than one right so uh having envo new production would actually is not easy you need to resolve all these issues and you need to have smooth uh you know production and and that's that's uh, basically hello uh, that's basically uh, basically what it is okay uh so what does that mean well it means that initially you're going to have low deliveries you know and you know we we actually started seeing Envo production on September 28th so it's been a it's been a month now uh but then, what happens when you solve the bottleneck? Think about the highway again. If you, if you solve the bottleneck, that means the four-lane problem that you had before uh, is, is, is now back again to a five-lane uh, uh, you know, uh, clear way. Uh, you're, you're good to go. You, you, you know, you're basically, your in, you're increase in flow uh, uh, will be dramatic. Think about it, right? So, because of this, I think, and because of the various bottlenecks, I think what we will see at some point from now until sometime in December is a jump in production in Envo. This will not be a nice increase, a gradual increase. You're going to see uh, 1,000 deliveries a week. We actually see something like 900. 900, 800, something like that. All of a sudden, you're going to see 3,000, uh, like, like a jump like that, right? As you solve one bottleneck, you're going to see a, a, uh, uh, you know, an increase. And, and when, you when you resolve all of these bottlenecks, 
then you would have a, a clear way. And that would actually help in making Firefly more effective by learning these things. Remember, Neo is a startup company. You know, Neo never ever experienced sub-brand, uh, you know, bottlenecks like that. Uh, maybe in the in the beginning when they did the uh, new uh, uh, you know uh, production, but that was done by uh, JAC two. That was not done by Neo. So Neo just basically inherited this process from uh, JAC when they bought the, the the factory. So in any case, that's what I think is going on. This transition is not easy. This transition takes maybe a month or two at least to, to, to clear. And that's, that's where we are, okay? So does that change the fact that Neo is the star? No, of course not. This is just a hiccup in the uh, you know, way of success, okay? That's what I think again, and it's um, please do your own due diligence. It's never financial advice. Thank you, bye-bye.